Good kitten internet. Welcome back to Vandal Hearts. Ah, always loud for me when I can reconnect. Alright. Um, I remember we didn't end up using any items last time, but I'm still going to want to buy as many items as I can. Because this is not going to be an easy battle, and I'm probably going to have to rely on having a large amount of solar. So. There we go. That's as much as I can hold. And I'm going to make sure everybody has some on them. Well. Obviously not everybody, because I don't have enough of it, but, you know, a decent amount. Um, let's see, who would I want to have healing abilities? Doesn't really matter where they're at, so it's probably Dolan. He already has one. Figures. Let's go ahead and have Grog handle it as well. I don't think I'm going to need cure potions anymore. So we've got four soul water to move around. So it's going to be a Grog. Basically, what I'm thinking are what are the characters who might not have something to do on a turn? Zohar, I'm actually going to give you a second life orb. And, okay, you have the dragon fang. Yep, we're gonna, no, not Kira. We're gonna do Diego. Besides, Cure Potion's prop, again, probably not useful. So we'll water to Diego. We're also gonna do Clint, I think. Oh, you have a magic stone. Uh, I can move the higher up away. This is probably the only battle in the game where I'm going to be heavily reliant on items. Um, you already have a soul. Mm. I guess it is going to be Kira. Yeah. No Meyer, high herb. Oops. You are instead going to get the last full water. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if I can pick up one more soul water by selling things. I don't think I can. I've already sold weapons and armor. Being the, whatever the demon stone does, eh. This should be fine. Hopefully. All right. Did we already talk to people in the tavern? I don't think we have. Oh, yes, we have. I remember now. The Empire's finished. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So, this map is going to look somewhat familiar. Because... While we're going from a different direction, we're going to end up in the capital city of Shumeria at the end. Which is where we started at in this game. It's a nice full circle type of thing. Alright, but first we need to go to the Gaius Fortress. And this is where the hardest battle in the game will start. We need to need some potification first, because of course we're fighting Kane. Watch over me, Lando, Dallas, Kurt, Sabina, and father. Master Kane, Ash and his men are here! 
Oh, so it's finally time. Kane, there's no need for further bloodshed. Now that Hell's dead, are we even still enemies? I mean, Ash has a really good point here. The reason why there are enemies is that Hell Spites needed a Fall Guy that happened to have become Ash. Hell Spites is dead. And Kane is now working for the person who killed Hell Spites. Golf definitely killed Hell. Are you talking about what Dolph did? That has nothing to do with me. Let him do whatever he wants with the Empire. You, though, Ash, you're gonna die. It's too far gone. Talking's not gonna do any good. So, yeah, Ash was trying to get Kane to back down. Mind you, they're very fierce rivals. They hate each other, but... They don't need to fight. So yeah, we're fighting Crimson Guard. But this isn't why the battle's hard. The battle will become hard on another turn. But this is an interesting fortification. They actually have relatively balanced parties here. So we've got a sword, a guard. You'll notice everybody's level 27 or 26. A shooter's up at the top with some height. That's going to suck. We've got a priest and a warlock, so in case if you try to get too close to the wall, the warlock is going to get you instead, or in addition. Again, swordsmen and guardsmen along the sides. Uh, same thing in this little fortification, along with some guardsmen and a crimson shooter up here. We're going to have to knock some boulders through here, then work all the way up here. We've got more random peeps. And then there's Kane. Uh, he has Healing Circle. Notice that there are some circles for him to regenerate MP and HP constantly. Yeah. This is actually a lot worse than it looks. Especially since we are the underleveled ones this time. And we can't reach those goobers this turn outside of... I know Kira's going to take damage, that's fine. But it looks like Diego and Kira might be able to take on one of them. That would be really nice if that's the case. If not, I will ma magic. It's fine. There we go. Just eagle. Hopefully. Dolan er, is for once not that far off of the correct location, but we have to deal with the damn warlock. And the warlock is going to eat Dolan alive. Let's eagle up. Eagle! So it's been a very long time since I've done this battle with Ash not being a Vandalier. This is a curb stomp battle if Ash is a Vandalier. And the reason for that's really simple. Uh, Ash is awesome. How far can I get with a Salamander? All of them. Sweet. We are going to need to conserve magic a bit, but I am almost certainly going to end up using life orbs on this battle. There's a lot of enemies that we're dealing with. And yeah, I know the mages are going to take next to nothing in damage, that's fine. We're dead. We're not. 70 XP. See why mages are going to level up really fast? Can you reach with a phase shift? Yes, but not quite. I mean, Frost Dragons can ruin their day, to put it mildly, but I'm only going to hit two or three with a Frost Dragon. But a Phase Shift is probably worth doing. 
because I can hit the armor and those goobers. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill the armor, but I can at least come close. Let's just do a bunch of damage with phase shift time. Yeah, 16 hit points remaining. I figured it'd end up being something like that. So yeah, you're going to start noticing these two to branching off on levels. Yelenai is strictly better than Zohar. Interesting. How far can you go? Okay, you can go up to here. Ugh. I'm going to need everybody at as many hit points as I can get. And I could Shining Core to hit them, but no. That's ridiculous. My Holy Lightning and hit no. Oh. Go back to my original plan of... Let's death up Clint. He definitely needs death. He's probably going to end up getting hit by magic and the armor. That'd be my guess. Actually, he could theoretically get hit by all three of them. Because the armor could go before the swordsman, and the armor would die against Clint. That's why I'm deafing up Clint and not Ash, because Ash is only going to get hit by one or two people. Actually, I can make sure that it's like this. Ash doesn't get hit. Okay. This warlock is the problem. I don't know how far its range is, but I'm pretty sure Dolan's screwed no matter what. So I'm going to put Dolan by himself. Alright. First turn's over. Ash, I've hated you since the military academy. I hated those proud eyes of yours. Never downcast, even though you carried the stigma of being the son of a traitor. I was one of the privileged elites, and yet you looked upon me with disdain. With pity. I hated it! Mean. I can't be beaten by you. I won't! Yep. Yeah, they're going after Dolan. I might already have to reload. Because if they're targeting Dolan, I'm screwed. Oh, Magic Arrow. They're not targeting Dolan. They're targeting those three. That's fine. Also, the Swordsman is going before the Guardsman, so we're fine there. Wait, why am I getting- why is that Goober getting support against Grog? Oh well. Free XP. Priest- yep. Priest is gonna heal the Guardsman that ran away. Which sucks, but there's not much I can do about that. I couldn't kill the Guardsman on the same turn without using an item or doing really dumb things, like wasting massive amounts of magic that I'm gonna need. You're gonna notice that I'm not gonna use a whole bunch of Huxley's power, because I'm gonna need it. All right, round two. Save. All right. You fool. Good job, Kira. How far can you move? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah. Die. You notice I'm going to get a lot of XP on this battle. Oh, yeah. This is the battle that's going to level me up the fastest. Because everybody is super high level right now. I think I can do enough damage. Yep. As long as I don't bonk. Yep. Frog levels up. Everybody's going to be leveling up, because this is going to be the battle that I will gain the most XP in the game. Hi. Sup. Bonk. 155? Pretty decent. Also, level up again. So Avalanche will definitely kill. I think I might be able to get away with a Piercing Ray. Dark Star won't work, but I think Piercing Ray is enough. Yep. Both of them level up. I believe they are maxed out on magic, but I'm gonna double check. Oh, it's in new spells. Yep, okay. Heal circle. Oh, I should have moved. I should have moved Dolan closer. That would have made sense. Because then I would have been healing a lot more and getting even more XP. And I am absolutely concerned about Dolan right now. Alright, you leveled up. Do you have a new spell? Astral Fire. I wonder what that does. Okay, we're going to need to be fairly quick when we're doing this. Healing plus is four. But regular healing is not going to be enough. Healing plus wasn't enough. And everybody's moved. Alright. The second wave I have to deal with. None of them are going to move. Alright, you will notice that there's no archers for this section. It, the archer is up here. And the archer is not going to be able to shoot past here. So, these spots are definitely safe. And probably up to here. No, actually, these spots might not be safe. But still, we can move our flyers in, is more what I'm getting at. making through my flyers do not get too far ahead keep in mind the different I, mean, I mentioned before that this is kind of a curb stomp battle when ashes of andalier i have soloed this with ashes of andalier before where all i did was move ash up and nobody else and ash killed everything in his sight that is the type of power difference that i am talking about and that's why i'm not doing it Because that's just dumb. I don't want to be that dumb. Okay. I know, if I remember correctly, as long as I don't pass the point that I'm currently at, I'm fine for a bit. 
I don't think it's timer based. I think it's location based, but it could be timer based. What? Well, that's a secret. So, out of curiosity, astral fire, range ten. A long range attack on a ninja? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm happy about it, but... Okay. Me. Yep, Clint is the only one injured right now, so I'm a little concerned. I should have let Ash heal him. We really need to be careful. Okay. They're not moving yet. Good. I don't know what turn it triggers on if it is turn-based. Let's go ahead and save here. Can you reach? Yes. Yes, yes, I know. Okay, um... Nope. I was hoping to reach, but apparently uh, I should move Ash first. Ash is just gonna move straight up. Oh, damn it, I missed healing him again. I guess I am gonna have to waste to heal. It's him. Do you want to join me? I'm sure people in TV land would love to see a kitty. If I could actually get up there, that might be worth it. Only hitting one of them is definitely not. Honestly, I might as well use Ultra Heal. Okay, let's double check to see if anybody else is even injured. Yeah, Dolan's down six. And healing plus heals so little now. It's generally not worth it. Alright, Hux leveled up yet again. He's 28 now? Yeah. Okay. Now can you hit anything? Yes, you can! Please. I would have known it would have been that low. I might have actually eagled. Although, it would have been on a healer. It wouldn't have done much. I'll at least keep the healer occupied. So, my main concern is actually Dolan this battle. And you're going to see why in probably just a couple more turns, if not this next turn. And I you might as well move up. Grog, how about you stand there? So, I'm pretty sure the Warlock is going to arrow the two of them, because that's the only move that makes sense in my mind. Exactly what I thought. Yep. Foolish attacks on the sides, because they're weak. Yeah. <laughs> Good job on leveling. Ah, uh, you're both going after the same Skylord. Oh, well, you hit one startle. It's fine. Okay, we've got three injuries. 
Priest is gonna heal, as expected. I mean, that was basically just free XP, and that's fine. And then everybody else. Isun, please just come on up. Hi, kitty. Okay. Saving. Ah, the problem with using the flyers there is moiterizing might be lethal for me. The very first thing I'm going to do is heal. Healing wave is not going to hit Darius. Yeah. I needed to be able to move one more. Damn it. Fifteen? Ugh. Okay. I am going to have to have Hux cast the healing. Uh, I'm already using a lot of his MP. Not great. I don't suppose... You know, there's no way in hell you're getting close enough. You can't even get... In the same zip code. Cool. Ultra heal. Centered there. Gotta keep everybody up, and you're going to see why. Not very long. It's gonna suck. First off. You die. I know Ash can get arrowed in the back. It still worth doing that. Because those guards folk can't reach. Yeah, they can't reach. I'm not concerned about them. I can stand over here. Not the worst plan. Not the greatest either. Oh, another place to put them right now that's safe. Let them be in flanking position. Yeah, you can only move in that area, and the next shooter's all the way back here. I don't think the shooter can... Oh, the shooter can reach. Crap. Oh well. How close can I get and still attack? That close, apparently. So that's as close as I'm getting. Die. You're just going to move on up. And so far moves on up. That should be everybody. Only injury is stolen, and we're going to have a pincushion on the right side. Yep, Ash is going to get shot. Fine. Oh, I didn't realize you were in range. Oh well. Should be fine. Yeah, this is the problem. 36? That's it? I was concerned about 36 damage. Never mind. Might as 
well. Plenty levels up. Always nice. I'm really bright today. Okay. So, these three goobers are the only ones that are actually injured. Outside of Dolan. Can't reach. Of course not. But Ash. I'm reach out and smash. Which is what I'm going to have him do. Oh, I should have healed first. Crap. Probably okay. Probably. Is that worth a reload? Yes. Think I was on an internal rem this turn? It'll be really obvious really fast. I know I saved at the start of the turn. Nope. Did I save at the start of the turn? I did. Yes, I did. Okay, good. Alright. Pux. Actually, no. You should probably just go here. Ultra heal. Get that. Heal all the people who are hurt. I forgot to move Clint first, but it's fine. Drop another avalanche. How much damage does the avalanche do again? Like 130. 160. Avalanche is, in fact, enough to take out the other guardsmen. No, not Salamander. Avalanche. Season stabbings! Yeah, that's much cleaner. And Clint still gets level. Now, this is almost certainly going to end up triggering the plot. unfortunate because these two are really far behind right now and I'm a little concerned about that I kind of need them to help with the rest of battle as far as you can get. That's where you're going. Frog, go ahead and move up here. Oh boy. <laughs> they keep coming! Can nothing stop them? <laughs> it's not time to give up yet! You're Dolph's pet wizard, aren't you? My evil transmigration art may just be what you need. Maybe just what you need. If you're willing to go through it, that is. Are you saying I take the path of heresy? I thought you wanted Ash dead, no? 
Damn it. So be it. Time to turn on the kitty cam. I relinquish my humanity. Ooh, that actually is a different translation. I think the PS1 version is I give you my soul. <laughs> Superb! In return, I grant you victory. Oh, no, kitty. You have to stay on the table. Or stay off the table. And this... <laughs> you fool. Now let the slaughter continue for as long as you live. Oh, what the hell just happened? That spell can only be rescinded with death. Kane, I can't believe he'd go to such lengths. Ash, Ash, Ash. Now this is where everything goes straight to hell. You'll notice that there is a slowdown there, and you will notice... Now do you see why I needed the healing? I'm going to have to heal every turn. From now on. Oh, please don't die. Damn it, I'm gonna have to reload. One moment. Wait, he took 36 when he was in the water. Why is he taking more now? Maybe water has a terrain effect that I didn't notice? Anyway, be right back. All right, just reloading. I just fast forward, I paused it during the rest of that part of the battle. Okay, so you're in danger. What happens if I don't kick this over? Hold on a moment. I'm going to science this. I know this is a bad idea, but I just want to see if it's turn-based or if it's when I knock into that. It is when I knock into that. Okay, that changes some things. Hold on. Alright, loading once more. Okay. So, as long as this doesn't get knocked down, then I don't have to worry about... Kane going all spiteful mode on us. So I'm going to get people in better position first. Unfortunately, dealing with that damn archer is going to suck. Not much I can do about that one. Avalanche, you... It also means that I can't roll those boulders down immediately. It's gonna suck. Well, you're actually going to get positioned here. Because hiding behind the boulder should prevent arrow, I think. Die. Really? I don't even know it's very late with healing. No, no, it doesn't. Didn't move, but that's okay. I'll survive. Okay, healing wave costs 12, healing circle costs 6, ultra healing costs 5. So dumb. Hold these two goobers.
Yeah, so the first time I played this battle, I did not have a Vandalier because I messed up one of the trials, and I also didn't know it existed. Um, I only found one of the keys, if I remember right. Um, I had two guardsmen in my party, or two dragoons. I just let them die. There was nothing I could do to stop that one. Pretty sure they're going to shoot Grog in the back, for reference. Yep. They will always take the back shot when available. And I'm going to have to magic that person to stop doing things. I'm going to try Paralysis. Paralysis is going to be a lot more efficient. Because that's only 2 MP versus have. I can't hit them with magic. You don't have enough for Astral Fire anymore. doing is trying to get everybody into this area. I'm going to end up moving Eel and I, and this is going to be the column that I throw down, but... I don't suppose I can hit from here? I'm one tile off. I'm going to predict that they're going to go after Zohar. Yep. He's the next squishiest. He's not that squishy. It's fine. Oh yeah, the trigger for that event is that wall going down. It is not possible to get around. That's the reason why these are here. Ah, oh, so water is 20%. I must just not have noticed. Can I hit from here? Yes. Bonk. You'll notice that I am staying in an area that's going to be an awful lot like the area that, you know, I can heal on. I think this should also be in the correct line. Yep, and that's probably lethal. There we go. Now we can take as much time as we want, which is like one more turn. Ultra heal, that blob, because nobody else is injured. Correct. I should have moved Hux. Damn it. I'll just do that next turn. You and I, you get to move here. A 
believe you have, yeah, you have 32 MP remaining, which means that Hux is going to get off one Supreme Healing, and that's it. Alright. Whoosh. Archer is up here. Where can you go? You cannot hit me on this line or right up against here. Guard, where can you go? Here is vulnerable, the rest isn't. Swordsman. I don't want to get attacked yet. Because of how much damage Kane does, I don't want to be attacked. I want to avoid being attacked as much as possible. At the very least, my guards definitely need to avoid being attacked as much as possible. The mages can get away with a little more. I can't reach with Salamander. Or with, um, Avalanche. Uh, where is the vulnerable spot down there? Okay. Here is actually vulnerable. I think it's time to send somebody on an Apollo mission. That might actually be enough to kill him. We'll find out! still alive. Worth. One fewer enemy means one fewer thing that's gonna hit me. I should have moved Ash one step further or closer. Alright. Nolan's gonna need to be babied for a long time. Mystic Shield to oh crap, that means he can't cast. Because Mystic Shield costs three. That was a dumbass move on my part. Holy crap. Um, Ash has a magic stone. It is still possible for me to do this. Fast forward through Kane's bit again. Yeah! Yep. 
So Kane is now a level 30 Hell Knight. One of the highest level enemies in the game. In fact, tied for the highest level enemy in the game, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Even the Flyers are at... Uh, most of my party cannot survive two hits of Plasma Wave. So, you want to know the sick part? Ashes of Vandalier is capable of casting this. Do you understand why this is so ridiculous now? Uh-oh. Good. I mean, you can reach? I might be in trouble. Clint can't get hit. Please block, please block, please block. Okay, we're fine. That's the last enemy that can attack, so we're okay. This is the reason why this battle is so hard. It's not that it's a hard battle overall. It's the fact of what I'm trying to do, which is no deaths and Ash without promoting to be Vandalier. Otherwise, I could have actually just started blasting Plasma Wave the entire battle. Oh, I oh, actually need to save first. So, something of note, Plasma Wave does cost a lot of MP. It specifically costs 15. But Kane regenerates MP standing on that tile. So I believe he can cast it again next round. And then he has a cooldown. So, yes, this is the most powerful enemy in the game. Look, okay, we're reaching the end of the game. The only thing he can do is Plasma Wave. Okay. Well, since you can't reach Jack Squat, you're going to use your Salt Water. So we're on a timer. We're on a timer for the number of rounds equal to the number of soul waters that we have, plus the number of healing orbs, which is a lot. We're going to beat it before then. I'm not concerned anymore. It was just that round that I was concerned about. I mean, I'm not going to say this is easy. I'm going to be wasting a huge amount of money on those one-use items. 238 XP, though. This is why I wasn't too concerned about my mages leveling up too much, because, uh, yeah. You can milk Kane for massive amounts of XP. Because anyone using a Soul Water is going to level up a couple of times. Assuming that they're using it and actually getting something out of it, of course. Alright, Diego, is it even possible for you to hit that person? It is. Okay, good. Spread. We don't get to use spread for us that often. Actually appropriate this time. I am one tile off of being... I would have put her there instead. I would have been able to hit those two goobers as well. Instead, I can't hit them. Fine. I'm hitting Kane's useless right now anyway. He's standing on the damn healing circle. Impressive. 
You might get thwacked by hawks. There's no might. You're gonna get thwacked. Oh no, because I want to have archers. Can you reach from there? Oh yeah, you can. still 26. 27, 27, 27, 28, 28, 27, 27, 28, 27, 27, 28, 27. Okay. So the goal is to basically kill everything now without letting anything heal. We're still gonna get archered. There's nothing we can do about that. But you'll notice that I put Dolan along a path that uh, you might be able to archer from there. Hmm. That might suck. Amen. Really? That's a problem. You'll notice I haven't moved my healers yet. Okay, that's going to have to be Ash. Eagles! Ash is the only one left with the ranged attack. You're being taken away by an eagle. Whee! Mine. Okay, we definitely need to heal him in. But Sarah can heal him, and I think a healing circle's enough. Down 40? Yeah, I'm pretty sure healing circle's enough. You have a magic stone on you. Well, let's get Hux back up. Also, that's gonna level Clint, I bet. Clint's 27. Oh, Hux is only 28, so. Yeah, it's only 34 XP. You're injured? No, okay. For some reason, I thought she was injured. Ash can't get attacked from that direction anyway. That's everyone. Alright. Yeah. That's the problem. You'll notice the very long delay. It's trying to figure out what the hell's going on. And P waved. Fast forward. Okay, the archer is the only other thing that can attack right now, so this isn't that bad. Archer's going after Aemon. I'm fine. I'm surprised Priest didn't heal themselves or run back to the. Could you? No, you couldn't reach. That explains it. Okay. We are safe now because you should be at zero MP. Yep. So we only have to deal with Kane actually attacking people now, which as long as we're outside of his range, he's not going to attack anybody. Uh, do I want to level somebody? This might not be a bad time for me to level Kira by using another Soul Water. I mean, it's a whole bunch of money, but this is the only battle I'm going to end up using this on. Somebody's going to need to. I mean, I could have Hux cast the spell if I wanted to save on money, but I mean, I paid money for this for a reason. Oh, water.
I really like Xeno's theme for battle music. It's probably my favorite theme in the game, battle music. Hundred and forty eight XP, so that's one or two levels. So you're either twenty eight or twenty nine. And if you're twenty nine, nice. Right. That's in range, isn't it? What was your range again? That's in range. Okay, I can stand next to Grog, but I cannot go any further. Oh, wanted to use Shining Core on an enemy. one with the... No, you have a magic stone. Doesn't somebody else have a life orb? Like, beyond the healers. Healer and I has two life orbs. Access one. I swore somebody else had a life orb. Well. I mean, Eel and I can use it. Uh, where's the danger point for you? Okay. Uh, as long as I don't... Okay, this area is fine. Sarah! Get all of your MP. I want to see that spell. with you. Okay, I can't go and run and grab that, but I can go back here. This is actually safe. Well, it's not safe from the archer. It's safe from Kane. Again, I don't want to... I mean, I can attack. Can I attack him? No. And I don't think I can attack the archer. No. Yeah. Can't attack the archer. I remember parallel to Grog is fine. And further back over here is fine. So what I can technically do is throw Hux on top of here, and as long as I have a little bit of extra MP, every time Kane casts, I can cast back and start just massive power leveling. Kane. It's okay if, if Kane takes a little bit of damage. He's going to heal on that square anyway, so it's free XP. Pretty sure he's going to heal 50. But I don't know the exact amount that he heals. Um, I'm going to move you there. Frog is actually going to stay put. That's end turn. Still the archer, unfortunately. Yep, he fully healed. So it was just free XP. Oh, I didn't realize I was in range. Ow. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Since I have freaking Arrow Boy. And 
I don't have any healers on that side. Okay, so Kane is no longer on the square, so he is no longer doing dumb things. Uh, we're okay on healing for now. Looks like I could just cast my spell to do this, but let's see if Holy or Ultra will reach. I didn't realize I could target those bots. Hmm, neat. Yep. Throw out an Ultra. Kane's nearly dead. Oh, I should double check to see if this is a, um... Death of Kane, okay. Which means I'm gonna wanna kill the other one first. How am I gonna do that? Apollo, if I can get close enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, not close enough. Three, four, five, six. Avalanche six? The avalanche is six. I could use the other life orb on Zohar and do a ranged bonk. I think that's a good idea. Zohar, you're our best chance of maximizing our XP. Oh, that's right. I would probably kill Kane if I used Croc Dragons. That's the problem. And I want my XP. Oh, I'm actually one step further. I wonder if I could have actually done it that way. <laughs> yeah, the problem is, I don't know if Darius can do enough damage. I'm gonna find out. <laughs> yes, he can. Good. All right, as it stands right now, you can hit Dolan on the side, and that's about it. Um, you know what would be really appropriate? Eagle! <laughs> I don't know what would happen. Eagle! You're dead. Oh, gosh. I hate you. You took everything away from me. Ash did nothing of the sort. That's the really dumb part about the way Kane thinks. Is that... Ash didn't kill his father. Ash was just in the military school and nothing else. Also, I don't need the kitty cam, but there's no kitty there. Um, just there. He may be torn apart. My hatred for you will haunt you forever. And gained 26 SP and found Excalibur. That is actually the best weapon in the game, if I remember correctly. But we win. Yeah. We didn't really make a profit on that battle. But that's okay. And that's it. That was the death of Cain. Hope you've enjoyed this internet. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye!